Hi, Maud. So I have a few guys who call me late at night, but only for booty calls. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them are really interesting, but I don't want to hook up with them. How do I tell them that they're missing out on something? <laughs> How do you tell them they're missing out on something? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want them to call me just for booty calls. Well, see, why, why you answer the phone? <laughs> no, see, I'm just, see, if you don't pick up the call, there is no offering. See, I think what's throwing you, you're saying you want them to see more to you than that. Exactly. Then you make them see that long before the phone call. First of all, <laughs> the booty call in the middle of the night is an inappropriate call. You don't get just know me and now you're making phone calls at one o'clock in the morning. Everybody knows what that is. So I'm not available at that hour. You call them back the next morning at nine, hey, I missed your call, what's going on? Well, I was just trying to see if we could hook up. Oh, I don't hook up like that. And then click. Then the next time he calls you, he may figure out, oh, this ain't as easy as I thought it was gonna be. I gotta put in some work. But by then you discovered he's a butthole and you should just <laughs> move on. <laughs> I want you to buy my book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. Please buy my book. It explains everything a guy is thinking from the very first phone call. It saved you a lot of pain. It really It saved three and a half million women a lot of pain so far. <laughs> Do that for me. I, uh, oh, they got this from me right here? For Morgan. They found a the copy right here. Act like a lady, think like a man. That's yours. Read the book. Take your time. You ain't gotta ever be a booty call. That's it. Stay with it. It's gonna be really good.